Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Production Line. So, at the end of the last episode, I asked if you guys wanted to see me rebuild a lot of this part of my production line. I got two people that said, yes, we do want to see you do that. And guess what? I forgot to show you. I was like, oh, I'm going to clean up this little bit first before I start recording. And I got so caught up on cleaning up and then putting stuff in and rebuilding. I basically rebuilt the whole section of the production line I wanted to rebuild. So we started over here. None of this has changed. This is our classic fit windows slot here. I did put in another fit wing mirrors thing just in case we're going to need that. And then uh, we go to the undercoat. So I moved the undercoat drying section over here so I could get our cool uh, our cool um, chevron shape of, of uh, drying the undercoats. And they dry up and then we've got a couple of paint finishes over here. And then once again we have the cool chevron shape of the finisher paint dryers and then a couple of polishers and then over here to our new fit powertrains so we are still researching the powertrain um, um, thing that will allow us to like build our own powertrains there's a lot of uh, a lot of steps involved in that so we can't quite do that yet I don't actually that's not necessarily true can we um, can we start doing okay so we could make powertrains and we can make engines but we can't make all the subcomponents of the engines. Got it. But you know what? We may as well start with making the powertrain, which takes three minutes and 26 seconds. And we need one of those every one minute and 12 seconds. So I basically need three of the three of these. Yes. All right. Well, that's easy enough. And they're a very weird shape. Hmm. So I want to try to fit three of them in here. And then uh, we are researching the high tech power plants so I can uh, use this area for manufacturing. As a matter of fact, I might want to just hold off until we get those high tech power plants to start building the uh, start building the, the component stuff because uh, right there is a pretty good spot to be putting, putting those uh, uh, manufacturing pieces into. So I think I'm going to hold off a little bit on that. I did erase a few of our power plants which is why we're running a bit of a uh, shortage right now. I, I, I needed room to fit these belts through there, um, but uh, that's okay. It's not really. We can afford to pay for a little bit of power over time, as long as we're not doing it constantly. And all of this kind of is so we can double up on our brakes and double up on our uh, tire production. Now, uh, as usual, I got some great comments. Somebody pointed out that our tires are so far away from the um, that our tire demand is so far away from the tire production. That could be part of the reason why we are running short on tires uh, over here, and I think that's a, a very valid uh, point. Um, and uh, hopefully we, we can move those as time goes by. Great, okay, so now we have the opportunity to build high, um, high production power plants. So let's scroll down here and uh, open that up, and uh, we will put all those into a spot where they're not gonna take up any of, the, any of our valuable real, real estate like over in this corner. We're not gonna have much going on over here at all, are we? I don't think so. Now, do these get an upgrade as well? They do. Ugh, that's gonna take forever to set all that up. I suppose in theory I could end up using that um, import slot that I just covered up, but you know what? Too bad. Oh my gosh, I spent a lot of money putting those in. <laughs> Maybe I should slow down. Um, let's sell back sell back some of these bad boys. We're not getting the kind of refunds I would expect to get from uh, selling back these. Although we did just build a lot of new power plants. So, alright. And um, more... Really? Is that all of them? Did I go did I go a little too crazy? And I haven't even uh, haven't even upgraded all these guys yet. So I did go a little too crazy. Well fortunately we've got a good cash flow even though I just spent a little over a million dollars. I probably shouldn't have. Um, there we go. 
So that electricity will last us for quite a while, which is good. And uh, that opens up the space down here where we can put in that powertrain manufacturing right here. So what a weird, uh, what a weird shape these take. If I put one of them right here, okay, two, three, and three was what I needed, right? Uh, so we're gonna do a. Uh, uh, resource conveyor. Now, I've tried and been trying to keep my resource conveyors a little separate, so we've got these guys over here. On the other hand, this is going to start feeding into power trains themselves. I also could import... Get, get out of that. I could import from this one as well. It doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot. What do these guys require? No servos, though, right? All right. So I think I could import these guys from here without overwhelming anything. And then export directly to uh, these right over here. There we go. And then uh, change these to uh, only local. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then uh, what I will do is I will have this one like supply the, um... can I do the um, fit or the uh, make engine? Now, see, here's what I don't get. Why uh, make engine control unit? I see, make engine assembly. Now, is engine control unit one of the things that they need in here? Engine control unit. Ah, okay, fine. Um, and these take 3 minutes and 12 seconds, so I would need 3 of these as well. So we have 1, 2, 3... And I can connect these guys up the same way. All right, and is that overwhelming? Mm, close to overwhelming that, that's for sure. Why is that importing steel? Well, this one's pretty close to being overwhelmed as well. Well, it doesn't seem to be slowing down our cars any. Oh my gosh, look at our money. So proud of the fact that we are almost uh, almost financially independent, but we are um, not quite there now that I've spent however much money I just spent, like a million dollars or whatever. Uh, let's take a look at the market here. First off, we've got a lot of cars in the showroom. Um, increase production. Either reduce production. Okay, and that's for the, the expensive four-wheel drive. Um, which is over here. Uh, that's the Twin Oasis. Oh, that's the mid-range. Knife's Edge? It's expensive. Oh, but that's not the four-wheel drive. The, uh, is it the Vanstra? Expensive. That's four-wheel drive, right? So let's reduce that price. It's fine. Um, okay. Uh, seem underpriced for the mid-range compact. Mid-range compact. I don't even know what that is. The WVRR? No. Vanilla Hills? Yes. Um, okay, great. Sedan... Underpriced. The vanilla cookie is underpriced, huh? The 
vanilla cookie, underpriced, really? If you say so. Um, increased production on the Fallville 3. Increased production on the Knife's Edge. The NCRR. WVRR will not give me any clues. Mm, that one's a secret, I guess. And Zippy's Folly is overpriced. Well, it is a fancy car. Alright, Zippy's Folly. Money's back on the uh, upswing, so that's good. Overpriced, huh? Fine. Looking at the market again. SUV underpriced. Increased production. Overpriced. So, Vanster is overpriced. Terram Stario is underpriced. Terram Stario. And then Vanstra. Uh, oh, really? No, I already, I already lowered the price on this one. Okay, great. And uh, money, $450,000. We're doing just fine. <clears throat> um, we can produce valves now. So if we go to engine... engine or powertrain make production make powertrain make engine for some reason we can't can't get to the valves quite yet maybe that'll require whatever the next technology is engine assembly I guess so so I went a little uh, a little backwards on that one but that's all right no problem ah eight hundred thousand dollars doing much better what is the uh, what is the trend financially for our prices oh my gosh so uh, so high Heading back down to the lowest point on the graph, too, so that's cool. Um, now, I did expect a little bit of a backup because between videos I created a backup over here. Looks like we're working our way through it fairly well. But it's going to take us a long, long time to uh, to get through all of the bottleneck. I think I the whole idea is so I can start doubling some of these things as needed. I also left a spot for a third painting area. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of room for additional drying areas, but I could probably squeeze some of them in here somewhere if I, if I figure that out somehow. Okay, research is all caught up. We could start manufacturing. Uh, let's take a look. Let's see what is the, what's the most expensive thing. Uh, let's research a feature while we are... Uh, Checking out this, uh, checking out this thing though. Um, how about like a spare wheel? Sure. Um, uh, what was? Oh yeah, uh, prices, uh, components. There we go. Um, consumption per hour. So steel, rubber, paint, glass, lights. So headlight manufacturing. And then arch manufacturing and wing mirrors. Uh, weird. Why did that change? Okay. Lights. Trim. Oh, because so many of them are the same once you get down to that point. Got it. So they're all pretty much the same. So uh, engine assembly, but we, we've already uh, got that taken care of. Air conditioning unit? No, we're not really. I mean, we could start making our own air conditioning units. Why not? Um, are those going to be just a one step thing? Or uh, can we. It looks like just a one step thing. There's lights manufacturer. We'll put those on there too. I don't see arches on here. Steering wheel. Could use that as well. Expedited sales. Basic retooling. Advanced glass processing. I don't think we need any of those things. All right, that's fine. Shut that down. Up to 1.2 million. 
take a look at our engine stuff here. There we are. Make valve, make engine. So what is this? Make engine control unit. Oh, of course. Make valve, make engine. Make valve, 36 seconds, engine takes one minute. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, how many valves does the engine take? And I was going to go ahead and put these guys over here, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, that's the make engine. And it re requires steel. Oh, oh my gosh, seven minutes to make an engine. Holy mackerel, that's a long time. What a weird... Uh, do I have... Um, I don't have anything like that, right? Okay. Uh, so I need an engine every minute, so I'm going to have to make like seven of these guys. A little too far there. Uh, I could put them down here without too much worry, I think. Um, let's see, what do they require? They require engine block and valves. Okay, so they can be on a kind of an independent system. So that's one. Two. How expensive are these things? Three, I guess not that expensive. 30,000. Four. Five. Six. Seven. All right, and uh, valves are 36 seconds, so that's not going to take too long. These require four valves, so I need four a minute. So I need two of these guys, basically. I think it's like a game of Tetris here. Um, and. I need one of these a minute, which is basically what that's going to do. But I already have one of those up there, don't I? Make engine block, great. All right, so you guys are going to come down like this. I'm not thrilled that you're going to connect up here, though. Matter of fact, I am willing to um, remove that from there to avoid that from happening. Yeah, that's fine now. All right. Okay, and then uh, this will go down to here. And then you're all going to connect up like this. here, and then you're going to go up into here, like that, great. Okay, so now I need to set you to only local, uh, yep, I'm, oh, I'm not making transmission yet, though. Let's, uh, let's look at putting that, make transmission, lights, air conditioning, spoiler, Wing mirror, roof, trunk. Maybe I do have make transmission, and I just don't have uh, don't have it built yet. Roof, axles, engine, radiator, exhaust, powertrain, engine. Oh, maybe you can't manufacture a transmission. Okay, well that's fine. Um, all right. And configure imports for this one. <clears throat> and configure imports for... Okay, I already did it, I guess. Um, no, I don't need to worry about that. Up here. Steel. Steel. 
I should probably set up a local steel uh, supply for this area. Um, all right, powertrain, only local, only local. And what do you guys import? Just steel, got it. All right, so these guys all need to be set to only local down here. That's one, two, three, four, five, five, ah, there we go, six, and seven. All right. That should clean that up. So now I need steel. And I can set up a steel stockpile over here. And I could probably feed it off of this line, which isn't really doing much of anything. So let's do a supply stockpile. And then we'll go resource conveyor. All right, I don't know why that did that, but it's fine. See, here's why I have the resource UI thing turned off, because it's annoying when you're trying to build a resource conveyor and you can't see what's going on. All right, um, so add item, and that item is gonna be steel, and there is what's, oh, it actually did steal even though I kind of clicked on the wrong one. All right, and now I go resource conveyor and I run that along here, connect you up, and I can have you guys all go to local steel only. Oh, not for transmission though. So you guys don't use raw steel, okay. They use raw steel, and then I could put some raw steel in on uh, these guys as well. And I've almost got a spot that would be perfect for a, uh, a supply stockpile, like right there would be. Can I can I pull it off? I think I can actually. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna add item. That item will be steel. And there it is, steel right there. Load up close and then we go resource conveyor and you go up to this and you go over to that and it doesn't cross over with anything which is perfect and so for this one configure import only local only local only local all right very good now we don't seem to be having any leftover stuff on these uh, but we also aren't having any shortages on the powertrain front. We're having insufficient resources. So those are probably the valves. Not quite making enough valves, I guess. Um, sure. Upgrade that. Uh, a little over a million dollars, so we're doing all right there. If we look here, it is definitely the valves that we are not getting enough of. So I'm going to go ahead and put in an extra valve maker thingy. Um, so we open up these windows like this. Make powertrain, make engine, make valve. All right. And that's fine. And then we run a resource conveyor through here, bing, and set this to only local steel. Support your local steel manufacturer. All right, great. Now we can't uh, can't quite keep up with the demand for steel, but seems to be doing better. All right, any backlogs over on this side? Mm, not really. Everything's getting over to here just fine. We still have a lot of cars in our showroom, but not a huge overstock. Uh, nothing that's going to cause us any problems, and. Boy, oh boy, we've already made it through the end of the episode, huh? 
A little bit of a backlog over here with the drawing. Did I forget to set up... Uh, now we've got all of our upgrades, all of our drawing upgrades in there. Maybe I should research, maybe I should research max power drawing. Uh, oh good, we can make our own air conditioning now, so we can worry about that. And, uh, oh, I was going to say we're using all of our power, but that's not right, I just looked at that backwards. Uh, where does the... Uh, where does the air conditioning even get installed at? Fit aircon right there, huh? And what does the make and air conditioning thing look like? Accessories? Get out of here, window. Hey, I said get out of here, window. Um, fit aircon, make aircon. 11 minutes, holy shnikes. And I need one like every minute. I would need to make 11 of these stupid things. And they're very expensive, too. And a weird-ass shape. Seems like a real scam right there. I don't know. We'll see about that in the next episode. I thought I might just slap those down here at the end of this episode, but not if I'm going to have to make 11 of those. That's preposterous. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you have had a good time. If you have, you know what to do. Leave a comment. Click that Like button. All those things. That's a good indicator to me that you enjoyed watching. Um, I thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!